So I was playing in a money tournament last night and two ladies, I'm not going to mention their names, Emily and Heather have this shot that works every single time against men. We need to hit it more. So let's learn it right now. Pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day. It's that shot, it's so effective. That's Emily, she's 24, she's gonna go pro. And honestly, that's a big reason why that shot, and it made many men look really bad last night. It really did. She does have a carbon fiber paddle too, just a thought. Joey? Also, if you need a new paddle, take a look at the description. We save 10% on pretty much any paddle, and it keeps us in business, so I could keep doing this. Here is Emily hitting the shot one more time. Mark's drop maybe didn't have enough spin, right? Sat up a little more, so that would be a good time to hit it. That's what I'm saying. And it's effective, right? You don't have to get in this really long dinking battle. So what shot am I talking about? I'm talking about a backhand speed up, cross court. Women do it better than men. Honestly, I think it's because they can rotate that torsos more. Guys are more muscle bound. And you say, Joey, I know PPR certified coaches say not to speed it up cross court because it opens up too many angles. But I would say if middle is open, it works. I watch video all the time. Take a look at Emily Dominate Man right here. She's going pro. I know this is such a good video, Emily, because you are dominating men with this shot. Now, she was a tennis player, right? And Heather was too. So if you're a tennis player with a two-handed backhand and you want to come to pickleball, hit this shot. Because you could dink a lot less when you see that dead dink. Hit it, right? If you have really good fast reaction times and build that wall with your partner, I would say to hit the shot. When do you hit this shot? When you're in the forehand middle side, you get a dead dink or you could hit it on the fourth shot, right? Heather does it all the time. If they hit a third shot drop that doesn't have a lot of spin that sits up you can just tee it up take a look at heather dominate man right here anticlimactic i know i've used that joke before but it's been a bad week for me but not for heather right because she can hit this shot when there's a gap open if you look closely her opponents left that gap open heather is featured on our channel all the time you usually see her hit it on that fourth shot drop but she hits it whenever there's a dead dink or where there's a gap open like in this example hope i did a good job ladies and gents i will keep trying to get better pickleball lovers take a look at that video it was so good but let me ask you a question have you ever tried this shot it's a backhand speed up dink cross court almost like a tennis backhand so let me know and pickleball lovers don't forget to have a good day and subscribe